Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss about workability of concrete. So, what is the definition and how to test workability? Why it is very important and factors affecting workability? Don't skip the video because it is a very important topic if you are learning about concrete or anything about this concrete technology. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, click the bell icon. Let's start a video. First, workability definition. So, there are three definitions which are given by American Concrete Institute, American Society for Testing and Materials, and also Indian Standards. So based on American Concrete Institute, workability of concrete is the property of freshly mixed concrete which determines the ease and homogeneity with which it can be mixed, placed and consolidated and finished. Next, ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials, define the same workability of concrete as the property determining the effort means with which we are efforting required to manipulate a freshly mixed quantity of concrete with minimum loss of homogeneity so it is defined by ASTM next Indian standards defined it as the strict definition of workability is the amount of useful internal work necessary to produce full compaction means here the internal work is a physical property of concrete and is the work or energy required to overcome the internal friction between individual particles and these particles exerts some friction between them so to overcome this friction the energy which is required is known as the workability of concrete okay this is defined by indian standards by is code book 1199 now we know the definition but we don't know how to test workability so you have to test the workability at the site and also at the laboratory so now we'll discuss some of the methods to how we can test the workability of concrete first slump test this method of test specifies the procedure to be adopted either in the laboratory or during the process of work in the field so here we only describe the test if you want a separate video on these tests you can message in the comments so we will make a separate video on these topics next compacting factor test means this test is designed primarily for use in the laboratory so you can see in the picture here this is compacting factor test so it can be done in the laboratory but if circumstances permit also may be used in the field it is more precise and sensitive than the slump test and is particularly useful for concrete mixers of very low workability you can test by compacting the procedure i will discuss if you ask in a comment section flow of cement concrete by the use of flow table means you can see here this picture depicts the process of flow table and this method of test specifies the procedure for the use of flow table to determine the fluidity of concrete okay it can be performed on site or at the laboratory also next determination of consistency of concrete by vb consistometer method you can see here this is vb consistometer and the determination of consistency of concrete using a vb consistometer which determines the time required for transforming by vibration a concrete specimen in the shape of conical frustum into a cylinder okay these are the different tests we can do at the laboratory and also at the site next so why it is important to know workability of concrete from these above definitions it is very clear that there exists no straightforward definition for the term workability in very simple words we can say that workability of concrete means the ability to work with concrete a concrete is said to be workable only if it can be handled without segregation segregation means it can be handled without separating from the other materials then only it is called workable it can be placed without loss of homogeneity it can be compacted with specified effort means while vibrating it should be compacted it can be finished easily 
Next, what are the factors affecting this workability? It is very important to know what are the factors because then only we can control the strength of this concrete. Cement content of concrete means what content of work, cement you are using in the concrete, it determines workability. Next, water content means water cement ratio or water content of concrete. Next, mix proportions of concrete, size of aggregates, shape of aggregates, grading of aggregates, surface texture of aggregates. Next, use of admixtures in concrete. Admixtures gives some special properties to concrete. If you want a separate video on admixtures also, you can message in the comment section or you want other specific topics also, you can message. We will make a separate videos and next uh, use of supplementary cementitious material like uh, fly ash etc. Okay, I think we have covered everything you want to know and if you have any doubts regarding this workability, you can comment below. We will answer you within 24 hours and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also click the bell icon. Thank you. See you in the next video.